Hey, what's up you guys? It's Savannah and Disney Dream Life Valley just dropped a basically all new item shop. There is one repeat item this week, the Beach Vibe set, which I actually previously had not purchased, but we also get a new house skin. This is the Lady Tremaine's Manor House. This looks pretty cool. I think this is gonna be a nice addition to either my Glade or even the Forgotten Land. We're gonna check it out, see all about along with the Monsters Inc. restaurant set. I've really been looking forward to this item and this Wicker Sweetheart basket looks so stinking adorable. I'm hoping this is gonna be one of those bags that our character can carry around. I'm definitely gonna be running around the valley with this all the time if that's the case. Now it's interesting we're seeing Lady Tremaine's manor house in the shop because this has me very confused as to where we might see Cinderella actually living in our valley because we won't see her in her chateau living with Lady Tremaine. And now, I mean, I don't think it makes sense to have Cinderella's castle because it's basically like the castles we already have in the game. So I'm interested to see when Cinderella comes, where will she be living? So we have Lady Tremaine's manor house. This Monsters Inc. restaurant set comes with a monstrous sushi booth. This doesn't look like something we're gonna go inside of and be able to sit down on, but this could be cool for interior as well as exterior builds, I think. This monstrous sushi counter I have been wanting since we saw it showcased. Oh my gosh, look at the back. It's Dory and Nemo. Oh my gosh, that is so stinking cute. I really want this on my beach since we saw it showcased in the trailer. I am so excited for this item. Short side table, kind of a plain item, but I think this will be a nice addition for using on like rugs because it looks like it's a nice low table, which I don't think we have too many of. And then of course we have the monstrous sushi plate. Oh my gosh, the eyeballs on the plate are so funny. And you already know I love that there's a little tea kettle involved here. So really cute set there. I think I'm most excited about the Wicker Sweetheart Basket. So let's go ahead and buy all of these items and check them out in game. I do think I'm gonna hold off on the Beach Vibe set for now again. If you guys can do me a huge favor, just hit the like button on this video. That's what helps me continue to be able to do these item shop reviews and I appreciate all your support. So let's come down in the meadow and check out some of these new items. I think I first wanna put on the new bag, but you know what, let me just pull out these new items here so we can take a look and I don't have to search through my inventory later. I previously wanted to put this sushi item here in front of Moana's house. Please tell me if it fits. Oh my gosh. I think it does. Oh my gosh. Wait this way or the other way? Oh my gosh, I think this way. Unfortunately, blocking the gorgeous view of the ocean, but oh my gosh, wait, is there room for this on my beach as well? I might put it right here just for now so we can take a look at it. Here is the short side table. I think I'm gonna pop that in right here. I'll probably remove everything except for the little sushi guy, but let's check that out for now. Let me pull out Lady Tremaine's house. I feel like this house is gonna look really good if you have the Haunted Hollywood Tower of Terror Hotel. I feel like it would look really good. Ooh, it's kind of nice in the meadow. I'm not going to lie, but I think I'm probably going to put her over here with Mama G in the Glade. I feel like her house would really suit the Bad Girls Club over here. Let's see. Does it look good with the Haunted Mansion? That's what else I have over here. I kind of like this vibe over here, like very mossy. The swamp is overtaking the world over here. Let me check up here in my forgotten lands. I feel like these two items together are perfect, like the house and this item, because they're both that like soft pink color. Yeah, I feel like this house would look really good up here too. It's actually a pretty small house. I'm gonna place it in the glade. I think it's gonna look great in the glade. Let's put it over here by this little pond. That's kind of a cute little spot. So I wanted to bring us over to my little village here in Sunlit so that I could have a really nice backdrop for showing off this wicker sweetheart basket. Oh my gosh, this is going to be too cute. Okay, I put on something a little more plain so we could get a better look at the bag. Oh my gosh, sorry Robert. <laughs> look how cute this little basket is. Oh my gosh, this is so darling. 
I mean, it's just perfect for cottage core, but also I feel like this is definitely giving Valentine's Day vibes too. Oh my gosh, catch me running all through my valley with this cute, cute basket. It has baguettes, chocolates, bows, pink stuff. I mean, what more do you need? This is so cute. Oh my gosh, I really hope that in the future we can use little bags like this in our dream snaps because that would just totally step up the game. Imagine all the little creatures and critters maybe we could see in an accessory kind of similar to how we got the fox backpack like what if we could have Toto in the little basket oh my gosh I would die what is happening to my dress right now is that because I have this basket I'm not too sure why is it flaring out like that like I'm having a little Marilyn Monroe moment um anyway the basket's really cute if you can only get one thing in the item shop honestly I'm kind of leaning towards this so I'm running down to my beach here let's check out all this sushi stuff oh my gosh I feel like this is going to make me hungry the sushi booth is pretty cool I feel like the items on the table don't look quite so detailed to me but I do play it on switch and it does look like it's higher resolution on the items on this table in front of me for some reason I actually really like this low table I feel like I'm gonna use that a lot I almost wish we had like little floor cushions or something I could use with that and I feel like this booth is gonna be great for interior builds and here we have the star of the show the sushi chef himself this is so cute. I really like this item. I feel like this is perfect on my beach here. I think I am gonna get rid of the table in this booth here, but also let's check out the back of this because I feel like this side is actually really great too. You could use this as a backdrop or do some kind of like interior illusions with this. I feel like it looks really cool and I love that it has Nemo and Dory on it or maybe that's Nemo's dad. I feel like I can't tell. Y'all will have to let me know. The sushi shop is really cute and I love that it actually kind of perfectly fit on my beach here. I feel like this is the perfect little way to incorporate this in my amusement park because I have Moana's house here and I think of Moana as being the one who catches all the fish on her boat behind her house. And then we have a little sushi chef here to prepare it all for us on the beach. Um, Ursula, we've got a new tentacled friend in the valley. I hope she's okay with it. She looks a little peeved off. So let's leave her here and let's go check out Lady Tremaine's house over here in the glade. I recently tore apart my entire glade and this is gonna be the perfect new addition over here because I feel like this is really gonna jumpstart my decorating process over here. This looks so cute in front of the little pond. Ooh, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. The greenery on it is pretty nice. It looks a little worn, which I think is great. I don't see any other doors on it, just the one in the front. And I'm not seeing the mailbox on it. I think the mailbox is there though. I think I just can't see it, which honestly I am totally pleased with because I do not like seeing the mailboxes on these house skins. Here is the house lit up in the evening. Honestly, nothing too crazy or wild to show you here. I like the house. I think it's pretty for the valley. I think this is something you'll wanna work on your dream snaps for and save up the moonstones to use on because there's a lot of better house skins in the game, but this is a nice addition to my valley as somebody who loves to decorate. So that is all I have for you guys today. Let me know what you guys think of the items shop this week and if you'll be picking anything up. I think that the sushi chef and the basket are definitely my favorites. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to let me know with a like and subscribe. I'm going to be continuing to do item shop reviews as we get new items in the store weekly. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one.